welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In case you're new here, hi, my name is Wabosh and welcome to the Slay Squad. So as you can tell from the title of today's video, I'll be trying out the got to be glue with you guys. And before I explain for you guys the three types that we have, I'm going to share with you guys the hair that I'll be using today. So the wig that I'll be using is by Eula Hair. Eula, yeah, Eula Hair. And it has such beautiful packaging. As you can see, it looks like a gift bag. But then it's sealed, like it's sealed on this side and it's sealed on the other side. So me and my Ushamba <laughs> tried to open it on the side and actually ruined the box until I realized that it comes up from the top and then your hair comes packed in this um, paper and wrapped in this net, which I found was really, really nice. So the hair itself looks like this. Oops, sorry. So this is how the hair looks like. I have already bleached the knots and tinted the lace because I already have a video on that. So I'm going to go ahead and put the wig back on and then I will tell you um, the details about it. So this is how the hair looks uh, put on my hair. It's not really laid yet. It's just, you know, plopped onto my head. I had to add on a band to the back so that it can fit my head a bit more snug. I really don't like using the clips around my head because it came with three clips, two on this side and one at the back. So currently I'm only using the one at the back, which is what I usually prefer to use. And then I just... Uh, sewed on a band at the back and i have to admit the first thing when i opened the hair i was a bit disappointed about the density but then once i put it on i realized that because it's not um bigger than this then it makes it look a bit more realistic or at least as realistic as a wig can get and another thing is that um the lace the lace is not really that um, wide when it comes to the width going to the back of the head because the, the width of your lace usually determines how far you can have your part. And as you can see, I have a teeny tiny baby part over here. So the lace is not that wide. So I'd, I know I'd prefer if they had like a longer lace. That way, even if I had a middle part, then I can make a really long middle part. But apart from that, the hair is beautifully, it's, it's beautiful. It bleached beautifully, tinted beautifully. I uh, also flat ironed it after I washed it. It took heat beautifully as well. So I have no complaints about the hair. So let's move on to the got to be glue now. So in case you don't know what the got to be glued is, it's basically a gel that has a really, really strong hold that it acts as a glue. So this is what we usually use to lay our frontals. And usually you want to lay your frontal because, um, I don't know how to explain, like let's say the wind blows on my hair. As you can see, if it's really strong wind, you can just, doop, you know, see the lace coming up but if this is secured at the bottom no matter how much the wind blows only the hair will you know move it won't come up with all the lace and it's usually worse if you don't have like a band securing it at the back because right now it's laying flat on my head because of the band so without the band then this part usually you can it doesn't lay that flat on the head basically so this is why we use the got to be glue so there are three types of the got to be glue there is the yellow the black one and the free spray and the one that i have is the free spray and this is how it looks like the yellow got to be glue it has the strongest hold out of three of them and it's also waterproof so people usually use and if you prefer to sleep in your wigs well then this is your best option to go with because it lasts for about three days so you Put it on and you don't have to remove it at night. It's waterproof if you sweat and go to the gym a lot. And also, you know, if you want to maybe swim in it. I've not tried swimming in it myself. I'll actually check if there's anyone who's tried swimming in their got to be glue. But I know that the yellow one has the strongest hold. The only con about the yellow got to be glue is that it leaves a white residue. From all the reviews I've watched about it, if you applied it, then ended up touching it, especially if your fingers were a bit dirty, it leaves a white residue. And also throughout the day, it just 
it leaves you with some white white flakish things and it's not so pretty so that's why a lot of people prefer not to use it unless you know you want to be very very careful and of course if you can overlook that fact for the stronghold that it has then the second one is the black got to be glue gel the hold is also stronger okay it's stronger than the free spray but it's not as strong as the yellow gel so the black one is basically called the invisible hey, i say basically a lot <laughs> i just realized it but the black one um i'm trying not to say basically <laughs> The black one is more or less invisible so it doesn't leave you with the white residue that the yellow one usually does or at least it's way less than the yellow one so people prefer to use it i don't think it can last for the one to three days like the yellow one but then the hold is fairly strong and it's also invisible but also it's not waterproof so that's another thing to note in case you normally work out the last got to be glue is the got to be glued freezing spray and this is the one that i have it actually has the least amount of hold first of all it's definitely not waterproof and it can't last uh, more than one day you basically put it on for that day and you have to remove it but for all of the three gels if you want to remove it it's really really simple you just use water so you take water some cotton or you know even like rubbing with your own hands and then you just go like this around where the gel is and it comes right off i'll demonstrate at the end of the video for you guys so it's really simple to remove and it doesn't destroy your edges at all so the reason why i picked uh, the blasting spray is because first of all I prefer to remove my wigs every day when I get home just so that I can let my head breathe first of all and also less tends to irritate my forehead if I stay with it for too long so I prefer to remove it every day so this was like the smartest option to go with and also it doesn't leave a residue but then the only thing about it is that um, if you spray and it gets on the area where there's no lace, lace that place becomes a bit shiny but it's not that big of a deal because you can wipe it off after you're done so now i'm going to just demonstrate to you guys how i usually use this and how secure it makes my wigs by the way because i'm sure someone will ask i got my got to be from raw beauty it's an instagram store and they also have a physical store at two rivers i will link their instagram page down below in case anyone is interested in checking them out this um big can goes for 1500 the big got to be glue gel goes for 2000 shillings uh, that's for the black one and the yellow one and they also have the small got to be glue that goes for 500 shillings so to start off i'm just going to pull back my wig so just like that so that i can see where i'm going to be working with before you pull back your wig you want to make sure you note where um your wig was laying because that's the only place where we'll need to put the glue you don't really need to put the glue throughout where the lace is the next one to go in with your wet wipe this is if you did your makeup first because the area needs to be really clean if you put it on top of your makeup then it doesn't stick as well so i'm just going to use my wet wipe just to make sure the place doesn't have any oil or makeup on it then also in as much as this doesn't really damage your edges you want to try and avoid your edges it doesn't you know it's just like a gel you don't want to build up gel on your edges too much because in the long run it will end up affecting it somewhere i don't know how but i've been told that by so many people so i want to avoid my edges because i usually lay my wig just in front of where my edges reach I have a lot of baby hairs as you can see my hairs go all the way I actually have really tiny ones all the way to my eyebrows so those ones I can't <laughs> I can't really do anything about it so I take the freeze spray shake 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 and then I just start spraying I don't spray too much and I don't also spray too little just enough because it drips so if you put too much then it will end up going throughout your face so I just point and spray
So another thing that's good with the spray versus the gels is that the spray dries pretty fast with the glue sometimes you'll have to use a blow dry to speeden up the drying process in case you're in a hurry but with the spray i just fan it a bit so that it can become tacky for just a few seconds and then it's usually ready for me to put the place on top of it okay so now literally five seconds later then i'm just going to slowly take the hair so as you can see here is the lace that is what i'm trying to stick onto the sprayed parts the more uh, tacky you let the glue get the less time you have to move it around so that's also another thing you need to note if it becomes really tacky then it sits there and it sticks really really you know quickly so you don't have time to really manipulate uh, the wig in case you have applied it wrong so i'm not sure if you can tell but uh, what i was telling you guys about if you put the glue where the lace is not going to go it becomes a bit shiny if you can see around uh, over here and over here on my forehead i don't know if it's clear you can see a bit of like shiny shiny stuff so I'm just going to wipe that off. Yeah, so I'd actually prefer you do this before you do your makeup because you know there's a lot of wiping so you don't want to be doing double work. So I want to get really close to show you guys. So I don't know if you can see but the lace is stuck onto my head and that's why I can do stuff like putting the hair be I, behind, <laughs> behind my ear like this and it doesn't really lift on the front part. It just looks really, really natural and I love it. I really, really like the glue. So with regards to how... Um, Good of a hold it gives you when i pull it it doesn't really move as you can see the lace doesn't come off but it's also not like a lot of pulling so i'm not pulling too roughly if i pull it too much it feels like it can come off and in that case it will come off with your edges so be careful if you have people who like playing around your hair if they pull it off too much it will come off and it will come off with edges because you can feel like the tiny hairs being pulled when you do this so yeah just be careful not to get it yanked out of your head so yeah that's basically it application is really really fast and also it helps me you know it gives me that little amount of extra security that whichever way the wind blows then the lace won't be coming up with the hair and also this place where there is the gap for the part it helps it lie really really flat because you know when it comes to wigs it's all about illusions and making it seem as if it's coming straight from your scalp so that's why we do the got to be glue we tint the lace we bleach the knots of the hair so yeah I, I like it and I've literally been doing it every single day since I got the gel and I'm glad I got to try it. So now I want to demonstrate how I normally remove the wig. It's really, really simple. So I usually use um, water in a spray bottle. Spray exactly where I've put the glue on my head. And as you can see, it's even already starting to peel with just look just a bit of water and it's already like coming off very easily see like over here it's definitely definitely stuck so i just put some water and it instantly just lifts without even a lot of effort so like that and then just wipe off the residue with this you have to clean your edges every single night otherwise they get build up on it and you also want to clean the inside of your wig just with some water and a washcloth or a wipe like i'm doing and it comes right off and literally that's it like it's that simple no pain no damage yeah 
Okay, so the wig is back on and I want to show you guys exactly what I meant by if the wind blows and you have not laid it down, the lace comes up with it. So as you can see, whoosh, the lace is up, whoosh. So as in it's really important because you can imagine someone is playing around with your hair, then they go to go like whoosh and the lace is just exposed so it's actually really important to make sure that you've laid it down so that is it for this week's video i will link you la hair down below in the description but in case you want to check them out they are a really good option if you're a beginner and you don't to struggle making your wigs because they come ready made and incredibly affordable don't forget to like Comment, share, and if you're new to this channel, please subscribe down below for new videos every Mondays and Thursdays. Always remember to work hard and have good intentions. Until next time, bye guys.